Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Get Close. I am Gio. And I'm Bart. And uh, did you know that the person that manages The Rock's business portfolio and enterprise, do you know who that person is? His mom. No. His wife. No. Who? It's Danny Garcia. What the fuck are you talking about right now? <laughs> do you know who the fuck Danny Garcia is? I don't know, but he sounds like a cousin of mine. Danny Garcia is his college sweetheart. Uh, they were married. They the got, Rock? They got divorced. Wait, Danny's a man or a woman? A woman. <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch. Uh, what? I've never met a female Danny before, but okay, got it. You need to meet more people. So his ex-wife manages all his ex-wife shit? Ex-wife now manage, manages the movies he's making out with other heifers. That is awesome. I always admire couples that, um, I mean, we have a couple friends like this that, you know, have had kids or were married with or just have had a life with somebody. They break up and then they continue to either work together or co-parent and everything is just copacetic. Yeah. So what I wanted to ask you. No, fuck no. Fuck everybody. I'm burning it all down. Don't fuck me over. What are you even talking about? I'm just you kidding. fucking Go jumped ahead. to conclusion, bitch. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> what I was going to say, you fucking theater curtain. <laughs> I know. I have a lot of stripes, huh? Well, I was just, just looking made at out myself. Of, you're just made out of velvet. <laughs> don't act like you don't want to rub me. Uh, fine. I don't want to rub <laughs> underneath you. Um, underneath me? Underneath the fucking theater curtains. <laughs> Wait, are you wearing double corduroy? I, that's the line that Holy I was just talking shit. about. Damn, you're a read between the lines. Corded bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what I was gonna say is, let's say we put ourselves in this scenario. Okay, we're divorced. How would you pitch me to get me on a date with someone else? Oh, come on, you know because I'm... you manage me now because yeah. Danny Garcia is the Rock's manager. So even though romantically they're not like this, she wants The Rock to continue to crush and succeed of course, in she gets all a percentage. aspects She's of his genius. life. Yeah. How do you do that with me? Easy. So You're talking to me. I'm a fucking professional, okay. bro. Okay, I'm right here? Yeah. Well, M Margot Robbie's you, right here. You messed something up, Margot though. Robbie's right here? You forgot something. How do you sell me to Margot Robbie? You forgot something. Because did we break up? On a good note or a bad note? Like, did you did you fuck me over? Like, did you fucking lie, steal, and cheat? We divorced. Or did we just go, you know what? It's not working out. Yeah, that way, that way. Oh, yeah. Why would it? I'm, I'm mature, baby. Are you? Fuck yeah. Am I? No. What? Okay. Cut it out. You know, go. I'm super mature. Sell me to the world. Um. Well, what world are we talking about? Making a movie? Like, you, this is why you should cast my client? To a hottie with a body. Sell me. Oh, for a date? Yeah. Oh, oh my God. That's funny. Okay. I'm going to be like, you know what, Margo? Um, uh, is she showing any interest in you or it doesn't even matter? I mean, everyone shows interest in me. Okay, fine. Margo, so, okay. This is going to be such a weird conversation, but I just, I have to put it out there because if you don't date Bart, you're really going to be missing Let's out. Let's put it this way. Let's say I'm Margo, right? And I'm like, okay. I know you guys used to have a past. Um, we started doing these movies together. Um, I think I'm liking them. Do I have your blessing? A hundred percent. Okay. Um, so what do you think about them? Um, okay. So it was unfortunate that it just didn't work out between us. How come it didn't work out? Um, why didn't it work out? D did I just make it up? Oh, I thought you were going to give me more. Like you keep interrupting. Okay. Um, we were just, you know, it, it was, it was awesome when we were younger. We wanted the exact same things. Like, you know, we were both, I was really supporting him in his career and I wanted to be the stay at home mom and I just wanted to have a ton of kids. But then the more that, you know, we got into business together and the more we started working together, I just realized that I wanted different things than what he wanted. Um, so it really had nothing to do with our personalities or anything. It just, you know, like I just, we just lost that love, that in love feeling for each other. And we just, our life paths went in different ways. Like he's such an intelligent human being he was so loyal and he was so supportive um yeah like if 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 you know in a different life if i didn't want what i wanted and he didn't want what he wanted we would have probably stayed together is he good at eating your vagina no 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 it wasn't that good but i mean he's a fast learner maybe like you could teach him a few things like i just don't really care for it so like he's so open to anything like 
like you talk to him about it and he's so down to try it. Is he good at having sex? Not really, but I think like, <laughs> but you you're know, supposed to sell me to her. I don't want to lie. So wait, to him to lie? Yeah. Well, oh, daddy probably lies but then she's on the rocks. She's gonna judge me. She's gonna be like, she's gonna be looking at me and going, yeah, "Oh, Joe doesn't know we're shit about sex." We're building an empire and a new way now. You think Danny? How is she gonna you, make me money? You think Danny doesn't lie to every single How, person about the rock? Of course, if it if it involves some sort of like financial exchange. This here. is Hollywood, baby. Everything's connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no one gives a fuck about that. Yeah, everything's how, connected how in Hollywood. How am I Hollywood. getting a piece? How am I getting a piece here? This is called networking. The ROI comes fucking three degrees later. I know, but if you know how to do business the right way, you're not gonna lie about shit because that's just not gonna last. You got to be up front so and you, you got to be honest. So you think Danny is telling the truth about The Rock all the time? Uh, she's she's making it as honest as she possibly can. Right. Or else you're just not going to last in business. Right. I'm not a liar. You're Danny Garcia. Okay. I'm fucking uh, mental. Uh-huh. Is, <laughs> don't you do it. Is The Rock on steroids? Um, I don't even know what steroids are. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me you're not going to lie. What no, the no. fuck are going on? You flip flopper. Okay. Is the rock on steroids? That's your question? You're a fucking flip flopper. Is that your question? Bitch. Is that your question, right? That's yes, your question? Yes. I would want to know, okay, why are you so fascinated with if he's natural or not? What What are you trying to get to the bottom of? What are you talking about? Is he on steroids yesterday? Why are you making it so complicated? I'm not making it complicated, yeah, but are, I just need to know where you're trying to go. You don't need to know. I'm men's health, okay? Yeah, and I'm looking out for my client. What do you want to know? I want to know if he's on steroids. Why? Cause I might give him some story sponsorships. There's no such thing. What do you mean? How do you know? You don't know anything that I, I know. know. I know a little bit about it a lot, and that's bullshit. So unless we talk about his movie or his stuff that's coming up, you don't need to okay. know about any so of that. So this is the manager I like. Now yeah, rewind. Welcome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is Bart good at sex? <laughs> uh, not really. But <laughs> what the fuck? This person just changed again. How can you go about lying about steroids? I didn't lie, Yeah, though. you did. I did not. Yes, you I did. I switched the conversation to something that mattered, which is I need to get my client to talk about his fucking project. I don't give a fuck about what Men's Health wants. My shit needs to fucking go first. That energy needs to be applied to Bart at having sex. Go! Uh, well, are you paying me extra? Like, so if you paid me a percentage for every fucking hot I'm bitch... I'm Men's Health. Is Bart good at sex? <laughs> Okay, well, how, what does that matter? I'm doing the interview. You Men's don't know the health. This is a fucking weird conversation. No, it's you not. do not need to know about I my clients. Crim sexual. Chris Hemsworth if he's good at sex. I ask fucking Robert Downey Jr. if he's good at. I ask everybody. This is a weird fucking is question. Bart Can I speak to your goddamn manager? Sex. This is fucking weird. Is Bart good at sex? Yes or no, no, we need to talk about the fucking rock and Moana. Okay, so that's what he's promoting. That's what we're talking about. I can already about. tell if we actually got divorced, you'd be a horrible business partner uh, to get you laid. Probably because I'm gonna tell the truth. No, in general, because Danny is doing a good job and you would do a bad job with me. Okay, well then, because I just asked you a couple questions divorced. and you already you already failed it miserably. Okay, let's switch it then. Okay, switch it. Same thing for you. All right, go is Joe good at sex? Really good. The best. What makes her the best? Well, um... But you don't have to lie. That's the thing. No, You're telling me. the truth. That's me. just what's not fair. Look at me. You see what you see, right? Yeah, she did a good job. I can't even last 60 seconds with her. I know, but it, now you're telling the truth. No. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to lie. What do you mean? It's... What's something that you have to lie about? Uh, Everything. No, be fucking serious. Okay, I'm Bart Kwan, Gio's manager. Who the fuck are you? Uh, Bart Quanjo's manager. Well, so are we trying to go back to the dating? We're trying to anything. I'm have Gio's best interest in mind, even though I'm not married to her anymore. That's the relationship. This is Hollywood. But you don't Everything have anything matters. controversial like uh, The Rock, right? Because you put me on the spot about steroid usage. Doesn't matter. This is Hollywood, baby. <laughs> Can you stop saying that? <laughs> That's what Hollywood means. It's the Wild Wild West. Anything goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you don't have anything controversial. Is my point. Like, I don't know what to bring up that, like, it's fucking controversial. It doesn't matter. You just hit, hit me with it. I'm Bart. I manage Gio. What the fuck do you want, L'Oreal? Um, uh, does Gio, does Gio like products that test on animals? No, she hates it. She's pro-animal, wants animals to be cruelty-free, in cruelty-free environments. Yeah, but we test on animals, so how is she going to do with us? She's going to fuck a rat your <laughs> you ass see, out. You already fucked up. No, you made me no money. What do you mean? I'm, I'm in the process of making money. You just 
fucked up. You should have already known that L'Oreal tests on their fucking. They do. I'm, I mean, it doesn't say cruelty free on the back. Go, give, give it to me. Go. You already fucked up. No, no, no. Give, give it to me. The only fucking the one time. I give you six tries. One more time. Go. <laughs> Where's Danny Garcia? I need her off the fucking squad. <laughs> give, 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 Bart give, Kwan. No, give it to me. Give, it, give me another one. Give me another one. Okay, who am I? Uh, Anybody. I am Bart Kwan and I manage Geo. Um, I the am. The Geo's empire. I work for uh, Nike. Okay. Hey, what's up, Nike? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Give me a pairs of free shoes if you can, but go ahead. What do you want? Um. Does uh does Geo, uh what what are Geo's views, on you know our uh, factories in China? She loves them. She loves that you keep your expenses low, <laughs> provide jobs for people that need them, and are able to contribute to the global market. You're the worst. Why? You're fucking. You suck. How do I suck? You're like, what are you pitching? You pitch nothing. You're Nike. You're pitching to me. You think The Rock pitches to people or people pitch to Rock? Yeah, so this is what a good manager does, all right? No, too late. I already won. I already got the thing. No, you didn't get the thing. This is what a good manager okay, does. Go, go, go. Okay, because I used to fucking manage you fucking idiots. Okay, and look a, how far we got. A good... <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey. No, I didn't manage you guys. Go ahead. I wish I would have. Uh, you guys would have been way better. But um, so a good manager always, besides the fucking dollar amount, right, always knows what their fucking client wants and how to get that there without like this fucking Nike back and forth conversation. It's just going, hey, we don't give a fuck what you do on the side. This is what we want. What do you want? Let's make it work. Okay, oh, flip it around then, you fucking you see, bitch. You so okay. <laughs> I'm Nike. Hey, Gio, Bart's manager. Yeah. What do you think about our factories over there and overseas, huh? Uh, what? What does that matter? We're I just here need to, to know. We're here. That doesn't matter. So we're it's here Hollywood, baby. About we're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We're talking in circles until we arrive at a point. Okay. Yeah. This is Hollywood. You've been. You know the drill. You've had yeah. two thousand meetings that don't matter. What do you mean about those factories over there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck about this matter. What I give a fuck about right now is mm -hmm. we get what we want. We give you what you want. What do you, you want? Get what you want. What do you want for your client? Um, I want my client to make ten million dollars just purely wearing uh uh Nike in every single thing that he does. Okay. Um, he also is gonna start this new project, and I want you guys to back it up. Okay. Um, I don't know. All right, well, let me let me think. I'm talking. All right, so yeah. This Hollywood yeah, they, baby. Yeah, they want ten million dollars. Oh, yeah, we do have that new product that's coming out of uh, Tibet. Yeah, but it's all child labor. No, that's why we're going to make all that money. Okay, we'll make it back. Okay, cool. okay yeah, so we got um, a whole new factory we just opened in Tibet. Um, really cheap child labor over there. Don't tell anybody. That's why you signed the NDA before you came into this room. Are you cool with that? If you are, boom, $10 million. I'll give you $11 million. Damn it. Let me talk to my client. All right, go ahead. Hey, Bart. Uh, so they do a lot of child labor shit how do you feel about that 11 million dollars though i'm not bart i'm nike you no you're bart now i went to you okay cool because this is we're gonna have oh what the fuck do you want we're fucking divorced already fucking calling hitting my blood on my phone yeah so so 11 million dollars but they do child labor shit well define child uh taika oh dude he needs a job for sure 11 million let's do it okay wait wait no 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 we got to think about this again okay, okay. um so if word were to ever get out that this is what you got paid for to work with this company that represents this thing, I don't think it's a good look, dude. Why, why, why are you wasting my time? So you're in this company to help make me money and now yes. you're bothering me? I'm not bothering you. I'm no. literally on a date with Margot Robbie and then you're fucking giving me this <laughs> bullshit. I don't want to fucking talk to this. I, I don't want to. I don't want to hear this bullshit ever again. All right? I never want to manage you. You suck. I'm literally on a date. We're ordering sourdough bread. And we're about to have a good old time, and you're fucking bugging me. I told you we're, we're over, okay? We're fucking over. And Take a fucking hint. <laughs> yeah, and you're fucking bugging me with this fucking Nike million dollar child labor bullshit. Okay, so I'm gonna just say we're not gonna do it, okay? No, I need my money, all right? You, you I no, need no, my no. money. I'll get you, I'll get you money. I need else. my money. You need your fucking 10, 15 Fine. percent. I just, I'll talk to you later. You better handle we'll talk the deal. Later. Fine. Handle the deal. I don't want kids involved. See you later. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so now I just need to speak to your fucking. I'm Nike now. Okay. Hey Nike, yep. um, shove it up your ass. We already got ten movies lined up. We're gonna make over a hundred million dollars. We don't want it. We don't support child labor. The Rock would never stand for any of that shit. Thank you so much for your time and fuck you very much. Damn, you just burned a bridge. I did. Let's go. 
Hey, Under Armour, Adidas, Reebok. Yeah, so uh, Danny or Gio is a fucking bitch. Say no to her, please. Adidas, uh, whatever you did to Ye, pull that on Gio, <laughs> oh, please. Fuck. I'm not going public with it. It's fucking Hollywood, baby. Anything <laughs> and everything goes. Hey, uh, so Bart, we have to talk about some shit. I told you I'm with fucking Margot Robbie. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, um, so I, I... I, I'm just going to quit. I quit. Yes. Yeah. Um, Quick. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> See, that's why I, I really respect them. Because I think it's hard. I think it's really hard to like be romantically involved. Like I couldn't imagine myself being in their shoes. Maybe I don't have the maturity. But for them to be romantically involved... I think I could for sure. And then, so because you're building an empire. Of course, in I one think I way, could for and sure. And then now you're building an empire in a different way. But then now you have... Uh, different lovers. So, why can't you? Of course you can. Because I think Danny's husband is also is her brother. No, no, is also in the Rock. I mean, the Rock brother is in the Rock's empire too, and I think they do something together. I, oh, you know what? Danny's husband, I think, is the head honcho for Zoa, the energy drink, which but that is all, all makes part sense. of the ecosystem. It all makes sense, though. Really? Well, yeah. So, like, your immediate circle, it's not like when we were kids, right? Like, when you're in high school and you have access to so many different people. Like, you tend to find your significant other usually where you spend your most most of your time, right? So, for them to be, like, romantically involved but be, do business, it, it all makes sense. Because they're in each other's close proxemics. So, she met... Her husband I, at a fucking energy drink taste testing? No, I don't I mean I don't know how they met. I don't know their fucking biography, but I'm just saying it's not odd to me. It's not weird. But when you think about relationships, isn't that weird? Um if you're emotional and immature, yeah, I think it's weird. Like let's say we break up, right? Yeah. And then your husband But if we break up like your husband works for JK. Don't I always go <laughs> hey little fuck up. Bitch. Well, I think I think if I knew you were that way, then I wouldn't allow that. That wouldn't happen. But I don't. But don't I write your paychecks? So I kind of like. Why would I would if we didn't have a mature? <laughs> you have to fucking stretch your finger. But if we didn't have a mature relationship, I don't want anything to do with you now because I know it's going to be drama the entire time, and but I don't it, want drama is it, ever. Is not maturity based on the number of zeros on the paycheck? No, I'd rather be broke. You're I'd rather not, you're start. You're not good at business, aren't you? I guess not. Maybe I suck at business. Because if Danny were to manage anyone else. Why do you talk would. about Danny like you know her and shit? You don't know anything about I, her. I know a lot about her. Danny All Garcia. Right. Okay. Everyone, go. everyone knows her. All right. She makes a lot of money with The Rock. Yeah. Because The Rock got a big old freight train of an empire moving forward, right? He got the tequila. He got the energy drink. He got the Under Armour shoes that all the UFC fighters must wear. He got the movies. You got the a whole enchilada and she can go off and do her own thing and make nothing or, you know. But you're also making it sound like this is all easy. Like she's working really hard for all of these deals. You know, for her to be at the level that she's at, it's not because she's the Rock's ex-wife. It's because she's fucking good at her job. If yeah. she wasn't good at her job, she would have been doing some other shit. She might be good at her job, but might be sucking out wifing. I mean, maybe, or maybe she's not. Maybe they just weren't compatible. But I think I could do it for sure. You think you're a better wife or you think you're a better business partner? Um, I think I'm a better wife. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, man. I don't think I'm built for business. My heart aches too much. I don't think I'm built for business, too, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, my heart aches way too I much. I think I'm better at husband. Actually, I'm not a pretty good husband, either. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course you're a good husband. Really? I don't buy you fucking flowers for no reason. Well, I don't want flowers. And fucking throw petals all over the floor and shit? Yeah, I don't want any of that. And to try to clog up our vacuum cleaner? I don't want that. I want you to fucking let me sleep in, get Tyco ready for bed, take fucking Mia out when it's really cold. I do do all that. Um, Hug me up randomly for no reason. That's me. Yeah, send me a fucking picture every time you get a haircut. Like, that's the shit I want. Really? You like it when I get a haircut? No, I like when you send me a picture when you get a haircut. Really? Why? Because it's cute, Because it's just like you're so, like you like it so much and it's something you want to share with me and I think that's so cute. Uh, I think you're a wonderful husband. What are you talking about, you stupid ass? Oh, uh, thank you. Um, But yeah, I think you could do it too. I, we, we have the ability to 
one be fucking mature like we're super mature people i think so um so yeah super mature and we can we understand how to separate personal emotion with business like it's just they're two separate things that's tough I, honestly can i tell you the truth i don't think i can do it really i think if you and i built some sort of empire together um but if we ended like on a good handshake and but we both reached the same conclusion where we're like hey you know what we're really good at business but we're just not good at lovers i don't think i can do that are you serious yeah i think but like you came up with it too you know what i mean like i don't think i could, I could do it shut up are you kidding me no why i think i'm more of a um i need to like clean my palate i'm a cal palate cleaner but okay, so maybe we're both not as mature as I thought. You know what I'm talking about? No, not at all. You like drinking Coke after you brush your teeth? I mean, I like brushing my teeth after I drink Coke. That's different. I don't think it's the same thing. For me, I think like, um, I love you so much. But that's the part I'm trying to emphasize. That's the part that I'm trying to emphasize. Okay. I love you so much. And everything that we've built has been built on the business and the love at the same time that I think if we took the love away, the business would feel way different. And um, my interest and enthusiasm in the business would have a huge void. Okay. Sorry, are you done? <laughs> are you done? Yeah. Um, so if your business was making a hundred million dollars a year you're only focusing on um they check in with you they go hey these are some reports we generated this is what we're thinking we're going to launch for 2023 do you sign off on this that's literally your role that's all you do everyone else is running everything else for you all they're doing is giving you this portfolio to check in on just brand integrity hey are we kind of hitting the what you what you envisioned for yourself you would still feel like, oh, you know, if we, I built this out of love with Gio. Shut the fuck up. That's I'm not like, even like, true. Gio did. I was like, is this like fucking like three stock paper? Who chose this shit? Gio did, huh? Motherfucker. No way. So at that point in business, you would do that? That I doesn't would. make any fucking sense because you're not even involved in the business anymore. I'd rather move to Man Montana and raise goats. That doesn't make any fuck because you're already gone from the business. You got the fucking big wigs just taking it over. No, I'm very and just submitting reports quarterly. When, when or I monthly. build when I build a business out of passion and emotion, when the emotion dies, um, I think my passion goes along with it. Yeah, but you're an artist. That's so why. Yeah, but now the biz that's why I'm trying to emphasize that the business grew past you and past anything you ever wanted. Yeah. Like you can now go and fucking. So it will collapse even harder than ever. But it won't collapse because it doesn't matter that you're in it or not. Then I'm out. I, I would collapse harder than ever. What? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You gave me the chills, dude. Why did I give you the chills? I just don't get it. My mind doesn't understand it. I just need a. Sometimes I just need a fresh start. I just need a break, you know? A break is fine. I get a break, but that's why I'm also. So I'm Let me trying ask to you emphasize Let me ask you the, the $100 million a month fucking money i'm also trying to emphasize that we both reach this conclusion at the same time so there is no heartbreak it's just over a period of time we both just realized that we grew apart and it there's no hard feelings there's no like oh broke my heart or, or, like you're not sad about it if anything you're like relieved that now you're letting me live my life and now you can go live your life and fulfill whatever it is that you want to fulfill so there's no like i'm broken hearted i love you so much if the company is big enough where we're both so removed from each other which we will be and it's a giant system like we're just fucking two people at google yes yeah probably that's what i'm saying but if we're both like board members and we got to be in the same meeting room still but you're acting like someone that's a broken heart yeah but i'm saying there is no broken heart because we both arrived at this conclusion together there's no such thing there's always going to be broken hearts so lady. you're saying <laughs> there's not there is uh maybe broken heart that you failed at a relationship yeah that's what i'm talking about there's always gonna be broken hearts but not because that's the one that got away that's different but hearts have been broken what the fuck are you doing right now what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if you're fucking with me i'm not i'm just saying when hearts have been broken yeah it changes the whole 
I mean, it's sad because it's an end of a like a friendship. Is that what is that what you're holding on to that friendship part of it? Because when I do something with you, right? As much as I want to, it's like this. Let's say I want to go to fucking JK. Let's use JK as the example because okay, I was a part of it and a huge chunk of it, but you didn't do it. I mean, you did it with me, but you didn't build it. I mean, you did build it with me too, but you built it with Joe. It was you and yeah, Joe type exactly. of thing. So if I were to leave there, you're fine. So if Joe le leaves, I don't know if I'll continue to do JK. Oh, because you're broken hearted. Yeah. If, if Joe backstabbed me. Well, that's different. That's it's, not what happened. That's okay, not what I'm. Okay, okay. There is no backstabbing. Okay. I'm trying to emphasize here. Okay. Okay. Let's say Joe fucking loves June B, right? Loves that Hawaii shit that he's doing right now. And he's like, you know what? I want to do more of this. Yeah. I'd be like, go do more of that. JK's done. Bada beam, oh. bada boom. Oh shit. Because half of it is built on the passion. The other half is built on my love for Joe, right? So if Joe's not there, the passion itself isn't strong enough to continue. Mm. I'd rather go snipperuski and then I'll nurture the passion because I still have a passion for making the funny funnies and also movies and stuff like that. But I'll do that on my own on a smaller scale and it's more controlled and then I'll have I'll, uh, sprout new life, you know? Yeah. It grows. You're a fucking grows, artist to the max. It grows its own little new plant yeah. somewhere else, you know? Yeah, I'm completely different. For me, I'm like, oh, it's just business, baby. It's Hollywood. No, nah, it's like, let's say you and I, we've got a classic car we want to build together. And then... That's different because that's so intimate. It's just you and I. But when that's why I'm emphasizing, again, the $100 million company... Yeah, I don't know. Because it's so much bigger now. There's board members. I know, There's... but I don't know if I care about money that much. If I, especially if I no, have money. No, no, money. no. It's not the money that I'm emphasizing. No, no, but I'm even if I have that. So especially if I have money, like let's say my lifestyle, let's say my the rest of my lifestyle, let's say I already have fucking money because we make $100 million, right? Let's say I have like, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 million in my bank account. For sure. I'm like, take it away. I'll fucking go raise goats in Montana. Because I really don't need this company. I'm literally doing it. Like if I don't need this company and I'm literally doing it for you, but now our relationship is over, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like why would I need to continue? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so interesting. Why? Tell me how you view it. Um, So for me, it'd be what are the goals, right? So one of my goals would probably be like, let's say, let's just assume that I really love this job. Right. I really loved I really loved you and I really loved building it with you. But now. You and I have come to the decision to split up because we just want different things in life. We fell out of love. We're just different people than from when we met, right? So yeah. we're good. Mm -hmm. Nobody did anyone dirty. Mm -hmm. We're good. Um, but now my new goal is now like I fucking love this job and like I'm passionate about it. Then I would still like let's say I'm your manager. If I'm passionate about managing and I and I know you and like I'm passionate about managing you, then I would still manage you. No problem. Yeah, I wouldn't care because like we're fine. We ended it like in a in a good way. I have zero feelings now. Like once it's done, I'm done. Like we move on. It's a different chapter now. Like I could totally do it. Damn. I think and maybe then, maybe girls are just way better at managing emotions like that. No, I mean it's just a per maybe it's just a person personality thing. I don't know. Maybe. But for sure I could do it. Um and 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 I would even feel like super honored to do it because now I know you on some crazy intimate level where I'm going to be like, I'm the fucking shit. No one else can ever fucking outdo me because they're never going to have the same insight that I have. So I'm That's not, probably why you're badass. Yeah. So I'm like, not only am I like, did we end cool? But like, I'm fucking good at what I do and I have the upper hand. That I believe and that I respect. I respect that you have that confidence because you do have that insight. But um, I don't know if that's something I could do. Damn, I didn't know that. Maybe I am really cold hearted. Because even cause that's why even like, you know, with like when I meet chicks through the homies, when the homies break up with the chick, unless I built my own relationship with the chick, I just I unfollow them, too. Yeah. I'm like, no need. I only know you. Yeah. Yeah. Through this, this you guys are done. I'm done. Ba bam. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that just because I'm like, I don't need to know you anymore. Yeah, I mean, you never even knew them. But we were acquaintancizing. Yeah, but you didn't know them. Yeah, true. I get it. That's the same way I am. Yeah. It's like, you're not adding anything to my life. 
Yeah. I only you only came into this circle because of my homie. You're not with my homie. You're out of the circle. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty closed off. <laughs> we're super closed off people, but um, no, I could totally do it. Like for sure, do it. Maybe uh, maybe it's a tra traumatic thing that I can do that, where I can like shut things off and then yeah, still... like just like later. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it. I, I think maybe because of my upbringing, I ha I've had so many fresh starts. It's just easier to just have a fresh start. Fresh start, new life. That was like a past life. Okay. No residue from the old life. Just 100% forward, you know? I mean, that's a clean slate and yeah, it's a I nice I'm a, I'm fresh start. I'm a more start. clean slate person, I think. Yeah. I think for me, it's just what the goal is. What's the goal? Because like the job that you have, right? The job? Yeah. You can get like, let's say you're a manager. You can get the same job anywhere else. It doesn't have to be at this. It doesn't have to be. It could be fucking CAA, WME, whatever. It doesn't have to be at the Bart Kwan Empire. It doesn't have to be, but why would I need to move? If we both are because like. Because of the residue. And, uh, but, it, but I'm like, if we have a really good re working relationship and nothing shady happened and we both agree that we can make it, we can still push forward. Yeah. And we both want the, the same thing in terms of business. Why would I start anywhere else? It's so hard to click with people. We know this. Yeah, it's so hard to yeah. click with people on a relationship level. It's so hard to click with people on a friendship level, business level, working relationship. Like it's hard. Like once you find your people, fucking hold on to these motherfuckers. That's true. I can see that. So yeah, I I'm just, not don't, gonna I just don't know if I could do it, but I, I see that. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, maybe I'm just a fucking cold hearted bitch or I can just know how to like fucking super separate it. But yeah, I would have no problem. I don't know if I could answer this way in my 20s. Maybe in my 20s, I would be like, with no. a child? What? Let's say you start something with a baby, with Taika. Yeah. And then, you know, um, passes away for some reason. Oh my God. You think you would be able to continue? Depends on what it meant to this child. So like, let's like say. Like if it was their dream, then I have to pursue carry it. Carry it on. I have to pursue yeah, it. that's CUNY. Um, but if it's something that they didn't care about, then it ends. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, but if they didn't care about it, oh my God, that would just break my heart because this is a different circumstance now. They were taken from me. Mm, I see. You know, where yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. not like he's going, like if it if the scenario now is I start something with Taika, um, but then he hates my guts and he hates working with me and it's just, we're just fighting too much. I'd be like, as much as I love that position, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? For the sake of our relationship and for the sake of my relationship with you, I'm just going to step back. As much as I love this, I prefer to have my kid and a good relationship with my son than whatever this this thing is. Yeah. That I would I would step away. Yeah. That Cuz that's sense. more important. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah. But again, that that's keeping the goal in mind. Like what is the goal? You know, yeah. whereas in our scenario my goal is I fucking love what I do and I'm good at what I do, so I'm going to stick with what I know and what I love doing. But if I didn't love it and I was only doing it for you and we break up, then yeah, I'm bouncing. What the fuck I need to be around for? Like I, I was only doing it because it was an hour us type thing, but I will like, yeah, there's no reason for me to be there. I see. Yeah. That's crazy. Cause I, and a lot of like workplaces, you know, there's a lot of like the interpersonal drama where people do get together at work. Like you like the office, right? Like Pam and Jim, they do get together. Then it's like the whispers around the office. Like, what do they have to say? If they turn out really, really good, then you do endure like maybe a couple of years of early on shit talking, but then now people are supportive of you. It's just crazy. It's hard to like navigate the um, the dynamics of life. It is, but it's still doable. Is it? Of course. Of course it's doable. Why wouldn't it be doable? Like it just becomes a thing. Like in the beginning, it'll be awkward because we're putting in our own insecurities and shortcomings to how we assume they're feeling about each other. So then we start going, Ooh, that must be awkward. Or, oh my God. Did you hear how that tone was? But for them, they might be completely cool. But after a while, and if the more you do it, did I just click with my, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <clears throat> but yeah, the more that this relationship is super stable with new, with like either new employees or new staff or just the, the regular staff, they just see that it works. Mm. And if it works, then it works, you know? Yeah. Cause I, I even felt that, uh, just the navigating the dynamics of relationships kind of difficult, even, um, starting in like junior high and high school. What do you mean? Like when I would get a new girlfriend and then I don't know, maybe I was just really insecure at the time, but like, let's say me and my girlfriend are holding hands, walking down high school. Like I was always like, 
I would always I was scared if anyone was like, ooh, what's going on over there? You know, I'd be like, uh, don't, don't say anything. Why? Why were you scared? I don't know. It just felt so like, like just look somewhere else. What the fuck? Yeah, what is that? Or just just assume that it's normal. Like, th- just don't make it a thing. What is this? What is that? Like, what get out of here. Yeah, but why? Why get out of here? I don't know. I didn't like that energy. The energy of what? Of people going like, ooh, like, look, you're holding, well, who's that girlfriend of yours? And how did you perceive the, ooh, what does that mean? I don't know. just felt like, like, like why is there all this tension on me? How, but you, so you perceived it as, like, they're going to judge you? Like you just don't like it. Like you've had a failed relationship, and now they're looking at this new one. Or maybe they they saw Bart as the branding of single, and now Bart's not single anymore. Oh. I don't know. It's just like a different. Like I know they view me differently now because I now have a plus one. Yeah. I'm like don't, don't look at me like that. What? I yeah. don't even understand. You never what had you're that. Saying. No. So when you had a boyfriend, you're like, "Hey, it's my new boyfriend," and everyone's like, "Ooh, cool," and you're like, "Oh, hell yeah." Can't wait to bring them into the high school. Um. Yeah. So for me, it was more of like, man, I hope my friends see what I see and like them, because that's the last thing I would want. That's fucking mature. Oh. Yeah, that was the only thing. In so I school, was always so high, scared. In high school, I didn't have that. I just felt, for some reason, I just felt so like, um, I just felt people were gonna go like, ooh, look, Bart has a girlfriend. Yeah, and who cares? Yeah, you know. do. I was fucking. I don't know. I was insecure about something. Oh. Interesting. No, for me, it was more like, fuck, man. Like, like, so I know that in my girl group, we have a certain dynamic. Like, yeah. this chick is this way. This chick does this. This chick does it. Like, we all have our roles, right, yeah. in our group. Um, and as soon as a gr- uh, one of us gets a boyfriend, we know that dynamic's different now, yeah. right? Because we're going to have her part-time. Or if she does bring in the do, we have to speak a certain way. Like, it doesn't change too much, but it definitely changes the dynamic. So what I was always afraid of was to bring in my guy – it fucks up the dynamic and I'm like, fuck, this so sucks. Mm. So what I would do is if I would ever get in a relationship and this is the funny part is, um, I would just disappear. Like I would be like, Hey, boyfriend time. Okay. I'm off with my boyfriend. Don't try to integrate. Not yet. No. Um, and then, and then like if I tried to integrate and it would be weird, I'm like, ah, fuck, I fucked it all up. You so I would the rather whole just, dynamic up. yeah, I would just feel like, okay, then I just got to either separate it or like integrate it once in a while. Mm. Yeah. That's how your group was cool. Because it was just a full integration, absorption. Hey, you're already in. And I was like, oh, shit, this is wild. Yeah, yeah. That was really cool. Maybe we were just super judgy or maybe I was just super insecure. Yeah, but I, I do feel like at the end of the day, all humans are just dogs at a dog park trying to figure it out and figuring out the dynamics. And sometimes, Absolutely. And sometimes it's difficult. Absolutely. Because you're like, someone might be insecure or someone might be like seemingly aggressive, but then you realize it coming out of fear. Yeah. So, but you're, you're, you're treating them through their aggression. So it's inaccurately uh, yeah. dealing <clears throat> with that situation. Yeah. And it's just everything is just like so much to manage, you know? Yeah. The older I become, though, the more I realize that the more uh, or the, the more I can be genuinely myself, um, that it makes it easier. Do you have a more of a like take it or leave it mentality? Yeah, now I do. That's gangster. That's dope. Whereas before it was like, um, I mean, I kind of always had that a little bit, uh, but I don't know. I, I think maybe like in my mid 20s, 30s, I was more like, oh shit, am I doing something wrong? Let me change that because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Well, what was the part of you that you were maybe more hidden about that you're like, fuck, I hope they don't. I mean, I hope that they do accept it when i was in my 20s and 30s but now you're like you know what this is just who i am i don't care if you yeah, like yeah, it or yeah. not so when i was first growing up um because i was a middle, middle child and i was already labeled the black sheep and the fuck up and the, all the bad stuff i was already like this with everyone right so i was like if you want to be my friend cool if not cool right so that's why like my circles were always really small mm-hmm. um but they were really tight but then when i move into more college and in that era it was more like wait is this like, wait, I don't have a lot of friends. Am I supposed to have more friends? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, am I coming off too harsh? Am I a little too, am I too crass? Am I too honest? Am I too upfront? Am I too intimidating? So like all the things that I love about myself now that I used to love about myself back in the day that I didn't realize I love about myself in that middle awkward spot, I was like, fuck, maybe I'm too much for people. Maybe I need to tone it down. I feel like I'm making people. What are those things you loved about yourself? Um, that I would just speak my mind, be super honest, be super bold with my opinion. Um, like it, like I just knew what my position was with things, you know, and, and like, I would just say shit, 
and it's like it's like I'm always open to conversation, but it was like it, sometimes it was too much for people to handle, and they were like, "What the fuck?" Or I would be just be misunderstood. And I'm like, damn, if you knew me, you know, I don't mean it like that, you know? Um, and for sure, maybe my presentation was all fucked up. But uh, the older I've gotten and the, and the more tact I've learned throughout the years, too, I found that sweet spot for myself, at least, where I'm going, no, I actually like being bold and I like being outspoken and I like speaking my mind and I like giving my opinion. But balancing that with, um, you know, understanding when to, like, speak or listen or like say things a little bit softer you know you can always be honest but the 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 vehicle in which you deliver it can be a little bit softer uh whereas in the my 20s i'm like fuck i just need to tone all of it down just keep it to yourself mm. be a little bit more like like don't make people feel intimidated by you or whatever so i would just kind of just hide a lot of shit and just like even though i knew things i was just like oh yeah yeah we can try that where i'm going like this is fucking dumb I, it doesn't make any fucking sense but yeah let's just let's just try and i just i was fucking dying inside i'm like what the fuck is going on that was actually like me with uh being a funny guy uh holding it back yeah holding i think I've, i think i've always been a funny guy but then once you get into that like almost like gain hard world you know like I'm fucking hard i'm a fucking thug like that yeah um i've kind of put away the jokes and the goofing around and stuff yeah um but i've always been like that i've always been the like, most humorous class clown and i just like fucking around and I put that away for a long time, like almost all of my high school. And I almost forgot that I liked being funny. Wow. Yeah. Until um, even when I met Joe, I don't think I was my true funny self. So really? I yeah. So I think that's why when I met Joe and we started doing our characters, I think um, I I think that's why they went so extreme because it was a, a me finally letting loose. Yeah. And then letting it all come out. So we were just like, we don't give up fuck like we're just gonna put on whatever outfits that we think are funny that looks ridiculous and just go crazy and jk helped bring that part back out and it's something that i'm very proud of now that i can be funny you know and i like having a good time yes yeah, cuny yeah but it took a it took a long time it was something that was just put away and i didn't even realize that that was a part of me that i liked yeah i feel that not the funny part but i feel that um just kind of making yourself into something that you're not so that you don't ruffle feathers you know yeah or you don't cause any waves anywhere you don't stick out or stand out yeah because i didn't want to <clears throat> be the goofball and then like have the homies label me the f word you know so i was like fuck i better put that shit away like they're gonna think i'm the f word like a fairy or something yeah fuck a fairy ass motherfucker you know yeah 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 so i was like i better be fucking hard i gotta be down and dependable even though I had, those things are completely separate. separate you know yeah you could be it's actually more psychotic to be funny and <laughs> yeah you could, be, you could be both that's fucking crazy yeah that was i was i was both you know yeah and i think through mma was when i was like we'd mess around and then we me and joe start messing around even more we're like oh shit we're actually both like way goofier and then we started hung, hanging out yeah it's so interesting how um just kind of seeing the evolution of like how we were to what we thought we were to now what i mean who knows we might not even be where we're at like where we think we should be yet and maybe in another 10 years we're gonna look back and damn we really didn't live our full fucking potential yeah i feel like i'm gonna have that actually in 10 years really yeah so when you're 49 yeah closer to 50 you think you're gonna look back now and go possibly Damn, yeah. i was a fucking butterfly still waiting to like sprout. i think so yeah i think so wow yeah i think so I'm, I'm i just learned so much every single day i think i'm fully sprouted what do you mean i think i am who i am now like i don't think so what? you don't think you you don't have any more growing to do i think i got more capitalizing to do but i think i am who i am now um i know i am who i am but how do I explain it? I am who I am and I don't see myself changing. Like, uh, like my morals are always going to be the same, you know? Um, my virtues will still be the same. Like, obviously, I'm not going to fucking one day want to start, like, killing and stealing and cheating for the sake of, like, ba for bad intentions. I might have to do that for survival, but that's a whole different thing, right? Motive. Um... But I feel like the older I'm going to get, I think I'm going to give even lesser fucks. 
because I just I've been noticing that pattern. The older I become, I give less and less fucks. And then Me you too. see older people like in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and they give no fucks. Yeah. Uh, that I'm and gonna I be barely like, give any fucks. Already. Yeah, you're already not giving a lot. You could already tell I don't give a fuck. Yeah, a lot of fucks. And like from this year to last year, I already feel my fuck meter go way down. Like before I'd be so fucking into like, oh my God, what I look like right now? Like, oh my God, what are they going to think about me? What are they going to say? And now I'm going like, who the fuck are they? Like, yeah. I don't even care. Like I really, I already was that way, but now more so, you know? Um, so like, I, I think I'll look back at my forties and be like, oh man, I still gave way too many fucks. Mm. And I was doing shit. I was doing things for the sake of fucks. And I just gave fucks about the wrong things. Yeah. Rather than doing it for yourself because you yeah. generally like it. Yeah. And I don't feel like that has anything to do with who I am. I think it's just, or maybe, maybe it does. And I, I think that's what I'm trying to touch on. You know, like that I'm going to look back and be like, ah, I wasn't there yet. Yeah. That's why I also feel like I, you know, a lot of people, they, they hit me up and even like mentorship program and stuff like people, they'll like ask me about, um, you know, when they first hustle and they're able to like earn a decent amount. Yeah. And obviously everyone knows your goal is to, to get whatever you earn and how do I double, triple, how do I immediately invest, right? But then everyone also has the impulse and the urge to like, can I spend and splurge a little bit on myself, you know? And I always tell everyone to do it responsibly though, but do it because once you do it, I'm at least for me, I'm the type of person to know where, where that line is. And once I've stepped across it, and I know how it feels, then I can go back to, hmm, do I like it or not? Yeah. Versus if I never do, I'll always have the urge. Yeah. You know, so like, let's say if I started making money, if I don't get the rolly or whatever, then it's going to keep boiling in my mind. If we're, I think a lot of the next function. time it's going to be something else. It's going to be something. And then by the time I do do it, I'm just going to go too crazy, you know, versus I'm glad I, I did it. And I'm like, okay, I know what that feels like. Okay, cool. Like, I, I think I got that on my system. So even now, like, um, after, after having a Porsche, after having an Audi, like like an R7, I'm like, oh, those are pretty nice cars. Um, but I can already see the trajectory. And I'm like, I don't know if Lambo is going to bring me that much happiness. I don't know if a Ferrari is going to bring me that much happiness. And I'm like, I just like my truck. I think that thing's so fucking cool, you know? Yeah, I think it's uh, it, it comes from experiences. These are all experiences that you're talking about, right? Yeah. So the more that we can put ourselves through different experiences, the wiser we become. And then we really know, like, who we are, what we like, what we don't like, what we should pursue, what we shouldn't pursue. Because they they're all experiences. Yeah. Because, like, I can relate with that, right? When I was buying my first things without looking at the price tag and then going, like, oh, fuck, this is tight. And it is a rite of passage. And I'm like, oh, I always dreamed of this moment. But then it was so fleeting that I'm like, oh, yeah, this isn't me at all. But it's an experience. You know, but, like, when it comes to, like, now traveling and visiting a different country and, like, Seeing all that shit, I'm like, oh man, this is really tight. Sadly, now I'm fucking scared of flying. But what happened to that, right? Yeah, I gotta get that. That's shit. still mind blowing to me. For me too. Cause you used to like roller coasters. If you don't like flying, how are you even gonna fly a roller coaster? I don't know. Maybe some shit happened to my equilibrium, or like my ears are fucking. The fluid in my ears all fucked up. It's that fucking thirty nine, man. <sighs> I don't even care. <laughs> <Kitty. gasps> I don't even care. The older I get, the more I like it. That's cuny. Yeah, the older I get, the more I like it. You know what I realized when I was old? I was looking in the mirror yesterday when I was training, and I was like, my face looks young, right? Because that like, but that's deceitful. And then I started to look at my neck skin. Yeah, that shows I, it. And I was looking at my neck, and I was like, oh shit, I think my neck is showing my age because my face looks young, but the neck don't lie. Yeah, the neck don't and lie. And I saw, I saw a crease right here. You see that crease? Yeah. I was like, damn, that's that fucking old like when you're in your 40s and you've been in the sun crease i was like dude what are you gonna do about it nothing the same thing you do about those crusty ass feet well i just wear socks i wear i wear a scarf you can't see that shit i still look 25 up here i mean you can't hide it though because after a while those socks are breaking and they're going what the fuck hey guess what i'm balling i thought i'll buy uh, another pair of socks <laughs> i thought you were gonna get them fixed what happened get what fixed your, your fucking crusty ass feet why well, i, I will, will. When? When I have time to get them fit, fixed. Yeah, I mean, are we going to have to split up now and we're going to have to fucking dissolve everything because your ass can't handle we'll it? We'll do the pedicure. Oh, is that what it's called? I'll do mm -hmm. a pedicure one mm -hmm. of these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do it when we're back in L.A. We'll go to fucking one of those Vietnamese spots. Get all fixed up. Do they cut your nails too? Yeah, everything. 
Just do that because I'm I'm the due for massage your legs. I'm due do I'm due thing. I'm due for a nail a nail clipping too. That's cuny. We'll go get our feet done. Are you done? Get your feet done. Oh my god! I've been waiting. Let's go do it. I've been waiting for that. You know, shit. scrub that shit off me. But yeah, you're just so cuny. I didn't know you were that cuny where you're like, if we're not doing it together, we're not doing it at all. Where I'm going. Hmm. <laughs> well, if I built it with you, I'm very cuny. I'm very sentimental like that. You know. Dang, I'm not sentimental at all. Nah. Why? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer to everything. Bitch, you fucking bitch. I don't know why I'm not sentimental. I've never been that way. Like, I would see people. This is I'm fucking how weird I am. But I would see people. Like, remember you would um, date or whatever, and you would keep shit in a shoebox? I would see that in movies. And then I'm like, oh, I guess I have to do this. But, like, I'm after a while, I'm like, why do I just have junk I'm never going to look at again? Well, that's because you don't look at them. I look at them. For what? Just to like, you know, imagine your life in the past. It's fucking cool. But why do you need to do that? Because it's fun to think about memories. You don't like memories? If you don't like memories, they, why are you like making them? Isn't that weird? So like with Taika, those are the only ones that I look back. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But everything else, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't look at those anymore because I have a wife now. But it's fun to look at your own journey, you know? Like your own progress. Like what was Bart like at five? Oh, he did this. Oh, oh, cool. Look at my watch. Like I have a watch in there. I like, see. And then you're like, oh, remember that? Yeah, I used to wear this or whatever. It's almost like a conversation you have with yourself. That's cuny. You know? Yeah. I never had like, that. Oh, I remember like that that relationship you had when you're like, uh, whatever, 15. Oh, what were you thinking? You know? I wonder where that comes from that I'm like, eh. And it's not bitch, dude. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> Yeah, I know where it comes from, where I'm like, eh. maybe I just didn't grow up with that. Because my mom is not like that either. She like, like no had, memories? Not really. Like, the cool thing, even though she doesn't like memories that much, um, the cool thing is each one of the kids had a photo album. Yeah. So, like, I can look back and be like, oh, that's how my sister or whatever was raised. But I never cared to look at my own. I was just, like, interested with what they're... Probably why your memory sucks. You don't ever review the last chapter. Yeah, maybe. See? Do they suck? Your memory? Still? It's the worst. Even now? Even worser. No, really? Yeah. You literally have the worst memory in the world. Come on. You can't even remember shit that fucking happened. I told you I was going to get a haircut two days ago about yesterday. And you're like, what? Well, it's not remembering. I think, my, I think I'm thinking about a bunch of shit all at once. I mean, you can call it what you want, but your memory sucks ass. No, nah, I don't think it was a memory thing. Because if we would have been like, hey, okay, maybe it does suck. Maybe it does suck. But yeah, I just didn't know you were that cuny. I didn't know you were that sentimental. How do, you, how do you feel knowing that I'm, <laughs> I'm not? I, I, it's fine. I think everyone's, everyone's different, you know? I don't think everyone has to be the same. But that's just how I process it. So, like, let's say if uh, we do break up and you want to continue whatever crazy entity we got going on, I'm like, okay, that's on you. What about um, get close? I'm like, hey, I want to pursue get close still. You, you're you like, yeah, but find another co-host. I'm like, find another co-host. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but this one would be kind of weird. See? Yeah, because we're talking about like pretty intimate things. Yeah, and it's things that we have views on or we like uh, experience together, you know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, though. I'd be like, I, I would have a homie conversation with you. Like, it wouldn't be romantic, but I would be bringing up romantic memories. Yeah. But I don't think I'd be like, like. I'd rather just have a it. fresh start, you know? I'd rather be fucking chopping lumber or something. God damn, that's not even a fresh start. That's just like, forget that life existed. That's me. That's, that's how I am. Have you done that with other stuff? A lot of stuff. Like what? What's a fresh start? When's the last time I played drums? I used to identify as a drummer. What happened? Why didn't you do that? Uh, I fucking got kicked out of school. Oh, and that was your thing? Like, um, so growing up, um, I was in band in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade. I really liked drums. That was like my set. And before that, I was Kung Fu boy. Do that away. Now I'm like drummer guy. I really like playing drums. Um, and freshman year, um, when you go to a school that's a really, really good drum line, you have to audition for every step. And it's that there's a hierarchy. So there's cymbals. There's uh, if you're above cymbals is the bass drum. And there's five of those guys. And then above that is tenors. And then when you're really good, you play snare. And snare is usually all juniors and seniors. And so when you get thrown into a band, you immediately go to the pit. The pit is like you're playing like xylophones and shit and fucking hitting the cowbell or whatever. Um, my freshman year, two symbol spots opened up. A ton of freshmen auditioned. Me and this other freshman are the only one to be, become symbols. So that already shows we're the best in the, of the freshmen. Next year, two snare spots open up. 
as a sophomore, but me and that same cat, we fucking both got the snare position. And I was probably one of the best drummers at the time. And then when I got kicked out of school, I go to Mark Keppel. And at that time I show up, I'm like, yo, I went to the band practice. I'm like, yo, this is the band. And I'm like, it's, it's not what I'm used to. What I'm used to is you have one band director, maybe two assistant band directors. You have a horn technician. You have a woodwind technician. Um, you go to the drum line. You have a drum instructor. Damn, you guys had sh- yeah. money. You had like snare technician. I just had one guy. Yeah, you had <laughs> snare technician. Like you have like all set. It's like, it's like you know when you go to a, some college shit. When you go to a, a good college football team, you got offensive it, yeah, coach, yeah. defensive coach, strength and conditioning coach, all different, right? It's just different if sports you go to a, to have that same thing. If you go to a shitty football team, you have one coach that literally does everything, right? Ours was like hooked up like that because we were Damn. really good band yeah. and drum line. And when I came to Keppel, I'm like, Bro, to be honest, I can't be playing for you guys. <laughs> this is like, oh my bro. <sighs> so I ended up not doing it. And I gave that up. And then it was just like time for a new life. So that's what happened. And now look at you. What? I don't play drums no more. That's crazy. So for me, it's easier to just go, you know what? Like whatever feelings and whatever I had so going into up. this, I was just like, let's just give up. You just gave it all up. Just gave it up, yeah. Just gave it up. Just switch a rooski. You know, he's like, Pitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy to me. If I was fucking good at some shit, then I'd be like, now nah, I'm pursuing it. If I loved it as much as it sounds like you I loved mean, it. My parents hated that I loved it too. So there's just so many things going against me, you know? Oh. I mean, like, when I was a sophomore in high school, before I got kicked out of school, I literally showed my mom, hey, Berkeley School of Music. I think I can go there. Where John Mayer went, where fucking. Uh, John Legend. Uh, I don't think John Lennon. Oh, he did um, Who's the other cat that fucking Jason Mraz? Like, there's a lot of people that went there, you know. And I was, like, I think I could go there. This would be pretty cool. Really develop well, maybe myself. Maybe in New York, anyway. And then um, she's like, "No, why would you go there? That's such a weird." Because like, the, she saw that the minimum GPA was 2.0, and she's like, "Why would you go there? It's fucking such a, the, have such a minimum GPA." I'm like, "Yeah, because they care about your portfolio. They just want you to know you could do the bare bones academics, but they want to see like what you submit because it's a school of art." Nah, you want to go to school where the minimum GP is at least like three point whatever, you know? So I was like, what the fuck? So I just, too many people didn't believe in me. Yeah, it's easy to let it go. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, so I, 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 for, for me, it's just way easier to just go switch a route. What's the new thing? And not build a new life based off the new thing. Damn. All right. Well, I mean, damn. I mean, we won't be fucking splitting up anytime soon. So we're pretty solid. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I love you. You're pretty sure? All right, so am I. So we're good for now. We're good. And we're 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 here. We've arrived at the end. Anything else you want to add, you fucking sentimental bitch? Nope. All right. So uh peace out from this cold hearted bitch. Uh and I will see you next week. Shakalakiki. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>